Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play uh, Dungeons & Dragons podcast from Portland, Oregon. And we are back. After a week off, we're ready to kick some butt. Uh, if you're new to the show, you can check out our prior uh, sessions by going to our YouTube page or by checking out uh, the Twitch uh, videos on our Twitch page. Um, we have a link to all of our stuff in our uh, bios of each episode. Um, if you're looking to connect with the show, you can also follow us on Twitter at MBMRPG and um, we have a link uh, in our pinned tweet that has links to every social media that we have. Uh, additionally, we'd like to thank the following uh, groups and individuals for make helping us make the show better. Thanks to Action Shield for their fantastic combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for their amazing dungeon terrain. Thanks to Sirenscape for their awesome soundscapes. And lastly, thanks to Satine Pedix and Rudy Rutenberg and Wizards of the Coast for all of the fun and frivolity of the Stream of Many Eyes, um, Sirens of the Realm, and Inkwell Societies, which I was able to work with uh, last week. And with that, we're going to meet the players and their characters. Mike, who are you playing tonight? I am Michael. I am playing Cirque, a half-orc barbarian, a current navigator of... The Tempest Temptress. Eric? Uh, I play uh, Elray Doran. Uh, he is an elf rogue. Mm -hmm. Also known as? Uh, also known as Foxfire. Okay, and that is the name that I will call him because that's Not the name I have name. written down on the <laughs> name tent. Uh, Aaron, who are you playing tonight? Uh, tonight I'm playing uh, trustworthy, always there, all around good guy, Visago Free. Visago Free. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Tiefling for bar. any new viewers, we do have a larger group, uh, but we are entering into uh, the summer of suckage where all of our uh, family members uh, ask us to do things other than play D&D. So uh, we are missing tonight Howard, uh, who plays Sarsarel. And Doug, who plays Xenos. Um, Jindy is on. Jindy is on. So uh, we do have uh, Xenos online, which is important because right now there is a, a plan in place to kill you guys. Mm -hmm. And I have created it, and it will come off without a hitch. Um, Doug is, is very... Very concerned that uh, I'm, I'm planning on killing you guys uh, with good reason. So before we get into that, <coughs> I'm going to restart Evernote because it just crapped out of me. Um, and uh, we'll recap what happened with last session. So last session, you guys returned to um, Lord Rundai's. Um, you negotiated your way off the island um, with your winnings. And some uh, and some treasure uh, that you got from Thunderjaw. Um, you also uh, sailed through um, the ocean on your way to Emmerich's Hold, uh, which you your goal there is to repair your ship. And um, you decided to do a little piracy along the way. Um, and to do that, what you uh, what you decided to do was uh, assault a ship by the name of the Ivory Hold. Um, and during the assault, you were able to um, get a lot of, uh, basically take it, take it down. Um, but in the final moments of the uh, of the assault on the Ivory Hold, um, Xenos's rival for command of the ship, um, Mr. Remington, decided to decided to uh, take advantage of the momentary um, distraction and try to take your ship over. So that's where we left off. Um, and with that, let's roll initiative. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course, it doesn't roll the 20s this No, time. no, you wasted the juice. Yeah, I guess. The juice, the juice. Mike, what'd you get? Eight. Eight. Did you roll for Doug? Uh, he got uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Um, and Solid. Eric? Solid. Thirteen. 
13. Oh, we're doing great. You guys are awesome. We're you all awesome. clumped. Don't, Aaron? Don't worry. 14. 14? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, clearly, you guys have you won combat. You set that bar combat. way With high. the big one, mm. I only got an 11. Okay. I got a 10 with the stone. So, I got a, um, I got a 10 with a 5 again. Part. So, you guys, um, just <clears throat> hold on a second while I reorder the, I mean, it's it's so good. It's clearly, I, you know, we're first. <laughs> I guess I have to roll for Doug, because his dice are here. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, true. It's Doug true. has a bag of dice <laughs> that is the community bag of dice. Um, okay, so. Somebody needs to give that man a set of dice. I don't think he would accept it. <laughs> I think it's a principle now. Yeah, it is a principle thing, <laughs> for sure. Um, it's a man of okay. the people. So, uh, one of the, the bad guys groups got a natural 20, and then mm. the other one got a 21. So, oh, they're great. gonna go ahead and go first. I mean, I guess that beats um, a 14, but it was close. It was yeah. just right by there. like. Right. So, like that much. Yeah. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to go over a couple of things. Not that they'll come up. Mm -hmm. Not that they'll come up. Um, one, we rolled uh, on Saturday when Mike was over to see if Mr. Remington was able to sneak past him uh, to get in position to pull off a surprise round. He was not. So that didn't happen. Um, so we don't have to cover surprise. Mm -hmm. um, we do have to cover a uh, how to shove a creature. Um, so shoving a creature is an attack action in which you make a special uh, melee attack to shove a creature or knock it prone and push it away from you. Uh, that is an opposed roll uh, by either athletics or acrobatics. Um, and that allows you to push a creature a number of uh, feet away from you. Uh, and then we should also talk about grappling because that's going to come up too. Uh, when you grab a creature uh, or wrestle with it, you can use an attack action to make a special melee attack uh, called a grapple. Uh, the target must be no more than one size category larger than you, and must you must be within its reach. Using at least one free hand, you, uh, you seize the target and uh, make a contested roll using either athletics or acrobatics. Um, well, if you're initiating a grapple, you initiate with athletics. The other one can contest with athletics or acrobatics. If you succeed, you have the, uh, the target gains the grappled condition, which is... Uh, your speed becomes zero, um, and basically that's it. Uh, other parts of <laughs> yeah. the grappled condition uh, are just, it ends when the grappler says it ends, basically. Um, so, with that, um, Grim Bernadette, the illusion of a crewman fades from her, and Grim Bernadette is on the uh, crown of the the Tempest Temptress, which you guys believe that she was over on the other ship. So she is going to initiate a grapple. So she has to first hit me. She has to she has to first hit you. Um, and she she's going to there's two people beside her, right? Yep. So yes. those two are going to assist her in grabbing you. So they're gonna the two crewmen are basically gonna just jump jump on top of you. And then she's going to try to uh, grapple you the best she knows how. So she gets a plus two for each of those guys? She gets advantage oh, on gets the assistance, uh, which is an 18? Yes. Okay, so she hits you. Yep. And now um, it's an opposed grapple Strength check. check. Yep. Oh, that's 60. Okay. She got an extra point. Because... <laughs> Because she is rolling with advantage. It's easier for mm -hmm. her to do that when you're pinned down. So she grabs you. And, yeah. She's, is she raging? Uh, she is, had not started raging yet. Okay. Because no, then, then if she was raging, she would have just gotten that anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so she grabs you and pins she you to, this, uh, to the wheel of the ship. And basically makes it so that you can't do, you can't stop what's about to happen next. Right. So Mr. Remington He's gonna waste his looks at uh, Xenos, and um, he says, I've been waiting a long time oh, to oh, do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, there's a cannon to be upheld. That's not how Mr. Remington talks. <laughs> I don't remember how Mr. Remington talks. He has talks. a Sean Connery accent. Mm. Oh, very, very. I've been waiting a long time for this guy. <laughs> yeah, lottie. there you go. Thank um, you. <laughs> and he, take it. he moves to adjacent with Xenos. OK. Um, and then pulls out his cutlass, which has a skull uh, hilt on the bottom, and points it at Xenos and says the command word 
uh, roll tide. Um, and a blast of water comes out and hits Xenos. And Xenos now has to make a strength saving throw. All right. With his bonus of nothing. Yes. 17. Fuck! <laughs> uh, okay, we that's, only got one. That's your one. We got that's one. one. <laughs> um, so Xenos gets blasted with water. He he does get pushed five feet. He gets pushed up to the railing, but he does not yeah. get pushed off the ship. Um, which is, he gets knocked off his box, which I think is probably going to piss him off oh, more yeah. than anything. Then the mutiny that's For happening. Sure. Uh, sure. And so the other... Because now he has to spend his next round climbing up back on, on the, the box. box. So the other, um, <laughs> the other guy that is with Remington is going to come up and just swing at Xenos. <gasps> Mutiny! Speaking of, are we supposed to be on the other scene? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and switch. Um, so that is a seventeen, I believe that hits Xenos. Uh, okay, so you want it on actual combat? Yeah. Uh, so you might want to move that camera in. Aaron, can you move that in a little bit? In. Yeah. And point it down. So Xenos is going to take nine damage okay. from a, a cutlass slash to the, to basically he's trying to swipe him right in half, but he only hits him on the upper shoulder. Yeah, AC is 17 on him. Oh, because he was swinging for a you know, normal person. Swinging for the fences is what he was going for. Yeah. Okay, um, Vizago, you, um, why don't you make a perception check? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> he's going to waste Misty Step. Jumping back onto the box. <laughs> uh, 24. 24. So, um, in the chaos of battle, mm -hmm. you hear this uh, Scottish orc voice. Ah, every time. <laughs> and that guy. yell, roll tight. Uh, <laughs> you believe that uh, the jig is definitely roll up tight. with uh, the loose alliance that you had with Remington's side of the ship. Mm -hmm. mm. So, do you stay on this side of the ship and try to. Um, try to secure it because it is the fight is not over you guys mm -hmm. have done a lot and yeah. and had remington not done what he done you would have control of the ship by now. yeah so what do you do so is this about the right distance for where we're at right oh, now? oh yeah yeah this is scale so i am going to stay on this ship okay However, I am going to kind of, in the midst of it, look back towards Remington. Okay. And let me just make sure I get my flavor right here. <laughs> All right, so Doug's ward has two hit points left. Good to know. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to sit there and I'll be like, truly mutinous. And he can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Yep. Okay. DC 15. He got a five, so he does not make your DC 15. And a thing. jagged crown rests upon Mr. Oh, Revington's head. A crown of, of madness. Madness. <laughs> okay. So, okay. And you get control over him at this point, right? Mm hmm Okay. So I believe the person that's flying is Poe in the crow's nest? Poe is in the crow's nest, yes. Yeah. Um, I did put out, the ship arrived, and all of the minis arrived today. Um, I did put out the ship, but I thought if... It, it basically cuts off the other other ship. We need two yeah. ships. Get on that mini lead. We need two ships. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Fox fire. Just so chop, you chop. are. So you can go ahead and make a perception check as well. All right. This is going to be with disadvantage for you though. Oh, okay. Cool. That's oh. Heavy. Eh, it's not that heavy. <clears throat> so with, I'm used to the metal dice. That with I have. disadvantage, oh, that is a nine. Okay. So you don't. You don't recognize what's going on, Magnet. Um, and so, to you, securing the ship, uh, the sh the ivory hold, is is what you were sent over to do. Absolutely. And I got the captain in my sights. You do. So I'm gonna um, try to. Uh, Finish him. Yeah, we're gonna hit him with the old rapier because that's what we've got out, and okay. that's what we like to hit people with. The rapier. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, that's no. Uh, that's a thirteen. A thirteen. Yeah. Um, that is going to miss. Yeah. So he managed to parry your blow with his sword. You've actually, so you hit him when you jump down, 
Um, and he pulled he pulled the sword out and managed to parry the blow. Um, and he's going to take a swing back at you, but not quite yet. Uh, Xenos. Xenos is going to... <clears throat> so you've got Remington on Crown of Madness. So I can control what he does, but I can't control where he moves. Right. Um, so he's going to... Grease, Grim Bernadette, okay, and Cirque, and all of those guys over there. Okay, so sloppy. So that is it's... a big dog pile of grease now. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lots of grease. And then he is going to then Misty Step. Um, uh, is, is Misty it, Step? Uh, it says it's a bonus action. Yes, but I believe you can only cast one spell per turn. This hasn't come up for us yet, so. Double check Misty Step. Yeah, one bonus action. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'd... That's fine. Um, I didn't know we'll, that you could We'll figure that. out um, what he, what, how he can do that. But if he, if he needs to Misty Step to get away, um, that's yeah, because he's is he Misty Stepping back on the box? Is that what? It, <laughs> what <it is>? No. <laughs> okay. um, I, he was just going to misty step away from the guy that's attacking him. Okay, um, he can do that. That's okay. fine. We'll okay. we'll look that up later. How yeah. far? Uh, so like 30 how feet, far away? Six feet. Okay. So for this, and towards the center of the ship. For this usage, uh, the guys in the um, Royal Imperial Navy uniforms those are the the combatants that you're dealing with on the the crown of the ship, and then the um, the soldier looking characters will will be the crew of the ivory hold okay and everybody else remains loyal to you that you know okay um okay <clears throat> shipwreck shipwreck so i want to try to get out of this you have advantage on the um, <laughs> because on the we're roll. all greased up yeah because you're all greased up it's, is, and is it, it's a standard action to to do this right because i can't even punch her it's an action to to get out of the ground. Oh, uh, it's a special attack. So if you have multiple attacks. Okay. Um, I'm going to rage. Okay. And then I'm going to punch her. Okay. With, yeah, I'm gonna just punch her with both fists. She can keep grabbing me. Okay. But I'm gonna punch her in the face. Okay. For flavor, can we say that she had butter? Cause that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. head butter if you Okay, cool. Um, so I get a D4 on top of this. So that's uh, tw- 21 to hit her. Oh yeah, that hits her just fine. Okay, and then the second headbutt is f- 24 as well. So okay, so you hit her twice? Yep. So first one Good is headbutting. Yeah. So uh, head 11 damage. Jeez. Okay. And the second <laughs> one is minus the strength bonus. Um, six. Okay, so that's 17 total. Yeah. All right. So you whack her a couple of times in the face, and she gets a bloodied nose, but she gets a uh, smile across her face. Um, and she says, go ahead and let him up. And then she begins to rage, and she's going to recklessly attack you back. Oh, so now I get advantage on my next That's attack. That's right. That's right. Good to know. Um, so her attack is only a 13, so she misses you. Um, and then the other two guys will take swings at you as well, but they can't rage, so they're just making regular attacks. Uh, they have scimitars, and okay. that's cocked. That is a 20, uh, 17 19, plus, 19. so yeah. Uh, so one, one hits you. Okay. Uh, so one swings low, one swings high, and the high one catches you in the chest for seven damage. Okay. Which three. is three. Um, and that is, oh, oh, um, the pirate on the far side of the ship, closest to Eric, sees the crown of madness come down and just starts booking it towards Xena. So he's oh, gonna. They all need to save. Um, oh, that's right. For Greece. Yeah, for Greece. Uh, Cirque got an 18. So okay. Don't uh, worry about that. Grim Bernadette got a natural 20, the other two fall down. Okay. 
So they yeah, would have. Okay. Oh, it's on the end of their turn. Right. I believe. So okay. So they're on the so ground. Prone. So not those um, two guys. And then the other, uh, the other pirate is going to charge Xenos. He's not going to actually charge because that's not a thing. That's a feat. Uh, so he's going to move six squares, and then he's going to swing away at Xenos, who is okay. conveniently thirty feet away. And he's uh, that is a sixteen. So that is not going to hit. Okay, I was going to say he's going to use shield, but he doesn't have to. Yeah. So he swings his scimitar, um, and Xenos ducks out of the way. Uh, and he's now... He swings high, and he goes, oh, wait, he's mm. short. Um, so now, <laughs> what does Mr. Rudington do, who is standing right there? He tells his people to surrender. I don't know he if can't I can control. do that. Yeah, just attacks. I can oh, just he, choose who he attacks. Aaron, Aaron gets to choose who yeah. he attacks. Yeah. So I get, you, I get to mentally choose who he attacks. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> well, mm. you, you have a tart. Mm. She's standing up. Yeah, she yeah. she takes advantage on her. Uh, yeah, you get advantage on the attack rolls. Yeah. Against her. So I'm pretty sure that's who he wants to fight because he's okay. You know, in his mind, that she, looks it's like all her fault. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, it's her fault. This yeah. plan is not. He coming together. definitely hits. Uh, <laughs> so, and he makes three attacks because uh, yep. he's got multi attack. So the first attack does wow. Um, the first attack does max damage, so that's nine. Um, hey, Method Man. Second attack, hey, Method. <laughs> uh, is a natural twenty. So he's gonna go ahead and do because he's a half orc. He's gonna Jeez. do three dice. Three dice. Uh, so that is that's a good eleven. Use that spell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fourteen. Super good spell. Jeez. <laughs> Um, and, and Bernadette is not a barbarian, so she does not get half damage on these attacks. Oh, um, she just has rage. She, yeah, she just has reckless attack. Um, <laughs> she's so dead. So that, Real dead. She's, <laughs> okay. And it's Remington's fault. Yeah, and it is. so then he pulls his dagger. Why would he and do that? Attacks. We all like oh, another natural twenty. <laughs> Jeez. He's good. doing really good. <laughs> Remington is a badass. He is a badass. He is, he is a badass. So However. He gets, He's beating up his own people. Now, here's here's the thing. When I play Remington, he's really good. He is. So to be it fair, just means five, I'm playing up again. That's all. It's ten that's all. more damage. So Bernadette is like, what the hell? This is your plan. <laughs> and she just gets torn to pieces by Remington. Uh, Bazaga. Okay. Oh, uh, he gets to make another save at the end. Oh, of he turn. does. Okay. Yeah. Good. And he needs to make a reflex. Which natural twenty. His third natural 20 for the round. Yeah, so, he so he breaks make, out of it. He needs to make a reflex. Okay. DC is 15. He, he rolled a 19. Jeez. Remington Jeez. is hot. Yeah. So he's, he's really standing hot. and he's no longer That's in good the because it takes my turn to keep it up. Oh, so okay. I have a turn again. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I I clearly, because I'm giving him mental targets, I would have I would have heard all that commotion. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So I want to go ahead and um, I want to try and reach out. Now, do we think... These three are the only ones that we think are with them right now. So far, that's the only people that you've really confirmed. I so the plan, the, the thought I had in my mind yeah. is these are his loyalists. Yeah. The the rest of the, the crew, rest are kinda, maybe maybe yeah. not the named crew, but the yeah. rest of the standard rank and file crew would go with him if he if defeated. He won. Yeah. They're just along for the ride. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We got Bridget right there. Yeah, oh shoot. Before Vizago goes, yeah. Um, the, the other <laughs> the other captain is yeah. going to attack. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Attack yeah. Foxfire back, and he's going to swing once, hit you really well, and then um, the second attack is is looking like it's going to hit, but you just barely get your sword up to to parry it, and he's going to also do max damage, nine damage to. <laughs> Uh, nine damage to Foxfire. Xenos is going to thank nine. Mr. Remington for his loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aaron, what is Vizago going to do now? Vizago is going to, so I just rally saw him crew. get whooped. I, I, I want to rally the crew. But also, we need to take this ship in the middle yeah. of this. So, okay. Um, so, for my bonus action, uh, I'm going to tell you... Uh, Get it together, new kid, and I'm gonna give you a die of inspiration. I like that. The, awesome. uh, probably, what, how old is Vizago? Like Vizago is like 20. 20, and 20. he's telling the 150 yeah. year old. Oh, yeah, 270 year old. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
know, you whatever. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Cirque still doesn't welcome, believe you're that. Welcome to the ship. Yeah. Um, Woo. And we then what I'm going to do is uh, <laughs> this guard over here, can they go ahead and make, I believe it is a wisdom saving throw? A wisdom saving throw. I got it an 11. That does not make it. So what I cast was tedious, hideous laughter. Okay. But what I would like to ask you is he is right next to the edge of this boat okay. here. Okay. He laughs so hard him, and fall over. I'm going to have him roll with disadvantage <laughs> okay. on his acrobatics check to stay on the ship. And that's a natural one. So he definitely does. Whee! And um, he lands really awkwardly when he hits the water <laughs> and just goes slack. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I used a bonus, I used that, I still have a move left. Um, you know what, I am actually going to, I'm going to get attacked either way, so I'm actually going to stay there and help okay. guard right. some of these other guys. Foxfire. Uh, we're going to still hit Captain, because I don't know what else is going on. Okay, well actually, save... what, why don't you go ahead and make a perception, perception check, check again. again. And this time you can roll with advantage, because... Thank God. There is because, clearly ooh. something going on on the other ship. All right, with advantage, then that is a 15. Okay. Yeah, that is enough to, to realize that, oh, I don't know the other people on that ship, but it appears that um, things are not going as planned. So I can't get him. Oh, but I can move to within range. Okay and then shoot him. Okay. So I'm going to run and jump from ship to ship since we're pretty close okay. instead of going around. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to... So can you disengage as a bonus action? Uh, it a as action. a, yeah, cunning action. Okay. Disengage. So you can disengage, not take the attack of opportunity, whip your sword away, and as you're kind of swinging across, pull out. Running, jump, yeah. pull the bow out. Yeah. Ready to go. And fire. And we're going to land here, and we're going to fire at the guy who's in front of Xenos. Okay. Because, you know, i got to win some favor somehow. Um, and this will be a sneak attack since you know system. Uh -huh. So that is a uh, 21 to hit. Oh, that hit. That hit. <laughs> so I'll take that and that and so that. So you see this going. <laughs> Oops, I don't need that one. And it that is... just causing fear, but... Oops. Hmm. So <laughs> 7 plus 3 plus 5 is 15, 15. total damage okay. with sneak attack. So you hit him right where the the neck meets the head and it goes straight through and it's a hard enough shot that it goes out the other side and he doesn't even register that he took damage and he looks confused at you and then just falls down <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah you you ko'd that guy but good okay xenos all right xenos hmm <clears throat> he can f oh, he doesn't want to ruin his ship you want a fireball? Uh, well, <laughs> flaming sphere. Just set it on our deck. No, um, no, that was his um, his contingency plan. If he lost control of the ship, was right. to let it. So on fire. I think. So everybody's still greased. Uh huh. Uh, where's his other spells? H hand grease. Um, I'm gonna have him shoot flame bolt at Grim Bernadette. Okay. That's a 24 to hit her. That hits her just fine. Oh. All right. Oh, two. Does he get his um, damage modifier on that, or is it straight two? It's just 1d10. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. She takes it. Um, shipwreck? You're up. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's yeah, 1d10. It's a, it's a cantrip, so she probably yeah, doesn't get his bonus. All right. So I'm going to do my first attack on Grim Bernadette. Okay. It's not a good day. You have advantage. Uh, I thought, doesn't he? Oh, just all attacks against her until her turn, isn't it? Until her turn, yeah. Well, she oh. didn't expect to get... Yeah, she didn't expect to oh. get jacked up. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah. I'm sure she was thinking about taking five 30 attacks. to hit her. 30 hits? Just <laughs> yeah. Um, Strangely enough. If it didn't, I'd say we get the hell off this boat right away. <laughs> 10 nope. damage. She ascends to deity, uh, <laughs> deityhood. Uh, yeah, she's she's messed up. She's rocking, like. Okay. Um, like if there was an 8-bit animation of her. Yeah. It, I wanna. It would clearly <laughs> show. I wanna say, get off my ship, and then kick her right in the chest. Okay. So that's still, you still get advantage. Yep, her. you do. So 9, 11, that's still a 20 to hit her. Yeah, it still hits her. <laughs> okay. 8 damage. 
So you Harrison Ford her off the ship. <laughs> Get off my plane! And she just goes poof! And, and tumbles off. Tumbles off. Um, she lands awkwardly with like a sickening crack as she hits both sides, of, both the ships <laughs> so close together. And you can tell think, think. that she is finished. Um, okay, and I got a 15 to stay on the ship. Okay, <laughs> all, right. all right. And then I turn to Remington. Okay. Um, so dun, dun, dun. the two pirates stand up mm -hmm. and they're going to take stand stands up. at you. <laughs> stand up for, for you, right? Rights. Thank you for Greece for allowing um, me to make that joke every so, episode. <laughs> yeah. You really have. Yeah. I need to not be drinking when you talk. <laughs> so, Mike, you take uh, five damage from a uh, scimitar slash, and the other one, he just barely gets his footing enough to swing. Okay. Um, and then that's the end of their turn, so they're going to make their reflex saves. And, stand. and the guy that, that barely made it up is like, he overcompensates and goes, Prone the other way. Just stay down. Just you don't want to die. So one of them's prone and one of them's still up. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> Continuity. You're adjacent to Remington. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. He is going to use his action to disengage. Smart play. And mm. he is going to. So move him to jump off the ship. Uh -huh. All right. So you just jump, put him in the water. Yeah. Whee! So and he dives. Like he's not going for surface level. He's right. going deep. deep. Uh, now, yeah, I will, I will say, just because it's cool, and as, as a forming Remington player myself, I, I'm, I have a slight bias. He does have a hat. He I'm does. diving after him. Oh, okay. He does have a hat. Um, okay, right. so that is his turn. And I'm not disengaged. Um, <laughs> the captain moves forward to um, engage with Sarsarel, who's been handily doing battle on the, the so deck like of the other ship. Yeah, so they're... They're fighting it out. Um, all right, Fazago. Uh, well, that captain just came into my view, and so he can go ahead and make a wisdom save as well. All these wisdom saves. Uh, that is a 16 on the dice, sir. Oh, I suck. All right. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Somebody's feeling lucky? Would you like to make that roll again? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, that is an eight, so he fails. Okay, so he hears dissonant whispers into his ear as okay. he goes, your whole ship's going down and you're going down with it. And okay. he's going to take three D6. Can I have my D6 mm -hmm. back just for a second? Thank you. So he takes uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He takes nine psychic damage. And that needs guy. to take a oh, reaction. I've got plenty. Yeah, he's okay. got. Okay. Oh, you got plenty. Yeah. So you can just yeah. Just mind um, so he takes uh, nine psychic damage okay. and needs to use his reaction to try and get away. Okay. I was like, why does he have? You have the. Uh, yeah, which you know. What is Foxfire doing on the way? Uh, well, I'm gonna step up to the dude who just stood up over there, uh -huh. and you know, we're gonna just kind of since we were talking about daggers. We're gonna dagger him in, okay, in the back. Okay, dagger him in the back. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a twenty-four. Okay. So you walk up. You sized him up really well, um, right between the shoulder blades. And eight damage. Eight piercing. damage plus your sneak attack. Oh yeah. Because he sneak is attack. adjacent to Cirque. Uh, and six more, fourteen. So yeah, you bury that right. <laughs> You were, I you told were you sizing him up between the shoulder blades, and you're like, you know what? The base of his skull is, and he just <laughs> right there. He just, just drops. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, we're back to Xenos. What does Xenos want to do? And just, just checking though, make sure he was. I was outside of the grease, so that I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah it's fall in the grease because it was top the yeah. Um, he's gonna move back up towards the top of the ship. Okay, yeah, move him back up like here. Uh, he can move 25. 5, 10. Yeah, get him to the stairs so he's not in the grease. Okay. And then he's going to firebolt the other captain. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, does a 10 hit him? No, a 10 does not. Hit him. Okay. It's, he <laughs> looks menacing, though. Shipwreck? Uh, shipwreck's going to run and dive after Remington. Okay. Ah. Whee! Okay. <laughs> so make an athletics check. All right. Uh, natural 27. Okay, so you... <laughs> It's there is Olympic no style. when you land. There's just, <laughs> just and the surf, water and then forms around you. <laughs> no, um, you you don't hit him because he is uh, deep. deep. 
but you do you are adjacent to him when you land. So now you can make a uh, an attack roll if you'd like. All right. He's got him pretty. Uh, uh, that yeah. is. Up, yeah. Let's see, that's 24, 25 to him. Twenty five hits him. All right. Do you? I want might to grapple. Make... I was gonna say, do yeah. you want to make a special attack? Yeah. <laughs> you, do you have uh, you have a necklace, don't you? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, he good. Can breathe I don't, Solid. Okay. I, I yeah. breathe underwater. I can just sit here I, until he dies. After you made the grapple check, I was like, oh, that's right. <laughs> so, twenty-four. Yeah. You, okay. You so just, I just grab him. Well, you can <laughs> do as part of your action. You can do your other attack. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true. I can. Uh, I can. I'm going to and grab him and then didn't beat a twenty. I'm gonna headbutt his okay. headbutt him in the face. So all right. Uh, well, still he doesn't. I don't get advantage, right? No. No. Uh, <laughs> does a fourteen hit him? No, I did not. Okay. So um, the other the pirate that was on the ground, um, he surrenders because he sees the way this is going, and he says. Remington put me up to it in hopes that maybe he won't get keel hauled because mm. uh, he won't survive that. Um, Remington is going to attempt a grapple against you, Mike. Okay. So this is contested. Um, and that is a 18. It's a strength. I don't get. You get advantage. I do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's a nineteen. Okay. So you you grab him, and he quickly realizes that this is not going to work out well. <laughs> so after he tries in the initial fight to to be rid of you, he basically signals to you that that he's no, just the fight is just, just yeah. He basically. just closes his eyes. Um. So. When we wrap back around to Sarsarel, because we haven't been adding his so turn in. Doug evidently cast Flaming Sphere on the merchant ship. It's on the mast of the merchant ship last uh, session. Okay. That's right, because that's how he got So it's been, yeah, yeah. The mast is gone. So <laughs> what you guys see now that um, now that there is no, you're on the other ship, mm -hmm. uh, Zago's on the other ship, that no one else, no, no friendly targets are close by, is just a thunder wave and knocks people because he's kind of been surrounded he yeah. knocks people just tumbling really away and at that point the ivory hold uh yields to you the cat, um, the cat whoa well, the, does the captain fall off the ship because he's on the plank well if he does he's gonna start swimming away from the ship because he still has to uh, use his reaction to get away he, no oh. he he, man, he just land he lands up against the railing oh, okay. and um he uses his turn to get to run to the to other the side of the floor yeah. castle there yeah. um so, what do you guys want to do? Um, I'm going to take Remington's hat off. Okay. And put it in my belt. Okay. Because I know also, what it does. It's also got a coat. I don't know about the coat. I don't know what the coat is. That's true. But. I, he does not have a coat. Does he not have a coat? No, he has a, a hat and the uh, sword. The his sword. sword. Yeah. I know what the sword does I now. A coat, but no. um, so, when we get back up to the surface. Yeah. Should I bring him to the surface? Or Cirque can just hold him underwater until he dies. Uh, that's up to Cirque. <sighs> I mean, it, Vizago, it is entirely up to you on what uh, you want to do with this guy. I, was going to suggest mutiny. But not mutiny. Um, um, Kill Hall? It's, it really is up to Xenos, I think, no, to, yeah. to determine judgment. No, I mean, Cirque. as captain. Yeah, and We're the quartermaster. The <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, we come up to the surface. Um, and the pirate band has started to play a, a tune of celebration. And you guys thought it was a dumb idea, Visago says. <laughs> to hire this band <laughs> and to pay them this whole trip. Okay, so, yeah, we come up. Um, Remington is stripped of everything but, okay. like, some shorts. Okay. You, you take all of his items off of him. Yep. And is Doug still online? Yes. Okay. What does Xenos want to do? Uh, he's already he's ahead of you on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, Keel Hall Remington. Okay. So, um, Eric, how many d sixes do you have over there? How many do you need? 
Can you roll ten for me? Well, here's uh, four. I can. Well, I can roll five and five, uh, six and four. There okay. we go. Okay. You got the heavy ones. Yeah. So I didn't realize it came with four when I bought it. I was like, yes. <laughs> so yeah. Um, basically, what you so for those that are not familiar with black sails, keel hauling is when you uh, tie a rope to the person's hands and feet, and then pull the rope mm -hmm. um, so that they scrape along the bottom of the ship and are cut to pieces by the barnacles. So go ahead and roll your 10d6. Mm -hmm. Minus that one. So, <clears throat> six, seven, 10, 15, 25, 28. I count that one already? No. Oh, sorry. 31. 31? Okay, so when you pull him back up, 37 because I dropped one. When you pull him back up, he is cut to ribbons, but still alive. Um, Fazaka's like, well, there's. I know one way we used to deal with this a pistol, okay. one bullet, okay. and a rowboat. Him and the other captain. And they just get set off in the middle of the ocean. You think you mean crossbow bolt? Yeah, crossbow. <laughs> well, he has a pistol on his character sheet, yeah. so I always think it's there. Yeah, he doesn't have the, the pistol, yeah. unfortunately. This is not uh, <laughs> According to the captain, mm -hmm. again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, that's, so, that's yeah. rough. Oh, even Sersh going. Oh, oh, man, okay. that's... All right. I'm pretty sure this is the end of Mr. Remington. <laughs> I was going to suggest... Um, so salty. Just putting him in front of a ballista and then firing it. But that would be thirty-three more. Um, that would have killed Sirk. So he gets <laughs> pulled out, and surprising enough, he is still alive. Good. But Lord. at this point, like organs are starting to leak out mm. of the holes in his body. Has he attracted sharks? Um, there might be. Yeah, there might be a shark in the water. Yeah. So I mean, wait. Was that just, do you want sharks? <laughs> Why weren't there sharks eating me I was under wait, the ship? I was waiting until we knocked more people overboard. That was my oh, second move. No. <laughs> no, I didn't think of that. Yeah, that would have been awesome. So, Man. are you gonna kick him overboard and feed him to sharks? Hmm. I mean, we can let we can let uh, Umbrasil decide his fate. Umber Lee. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so um, the the second time mm -hmm. we don't even pull him out of the water. We just cut the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just okay. in the water. All right. Because cool. he wanted to stay in the he wanted to be in the yeah. water. Leave him in the That's water. That's fair. According to and his account. Fair enough. And as ceremony, I'll just give one last blow call out to our fallen comrade. That's. Three sharks that would be summoned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three sharks. sharks. Okay, so you summon sharks to eat Mr. Remington. I mean, they eat. Listen, they eat I, I didn't Bernadette summon too. sharks. Yeah, Grim Bernadette yeah, too. Listen, there's just. Um, what are you doing with the other. Who knows how that could who happen? Has, he's hysterical in a, um, in a heap of tears at this point. This guy. And probably yours. Uh, yeah. Crossbow. Um, one, one bolt. One, you want to just boat. put him on a rowboat? Just no, jump him off on an island. Just, just, just dump send him, him somewhere? Just dump him, him somewhere. Just set him on a deserted just, island. Okay. That's so his if, if we'll tie him up, <laughs> put him in the, in the hold, yeah. and if he does, if we do find a rock somewhere yeah, or something, sure. we'll just set him on it. Yeah. You can find a rock somewhere. Yeah. Uh, um, put him, him on a rock at low tide. Can somebody yeah. who can, like, write, uh, write mutiny or mutineer on his okay. forehead? Oh, I can oh. I can do better than that. And Vizago starts rolling up his sleeves, and you see that he's covered in tattoos. <laughs> yes, paint the man. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you do all of the horrible things to yeah. this fine fellow. I mean, um, but he got to live because he was smart. It's true. Yeah. There's a chance he can get away. That's fine. Maybe he could become a recurring villain. Who takes? Oh, there's some stuff. Yeah. There's, <laughs> I got a new book, and there's uh, there's a. There's a really cool thing in it. Um, so, kill anyone the, who insists on wearing a bandana over their head. <laughs> that's like that's everybody, including Cirque. The um, the two magical items that you took off of Mr. Remington. Mm -hmm. uh, who's taking those? So there is a scimitar, mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and a tricorn hat. Ah, uh, Sark puts on the hat. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't uh, print these out um, as magical items, but I will go ahead and do that later. Actually, um, th this requires attunement probably too, it right? It does require So attunement. that would be Sark's third. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm like, no, it's fine. So this black leather uh, tricorn hat is weather beaten and salt stained. Um, attunement grants the wielder proficiency bonus in water vehicles um, and athletics to swim checks. Um, if you already have proficiency there. bonus to water vehicles, you get expertise instead, so you are super good at sailing. Um, once per day, if Umberly is your patron, you can speak a command word and transform the boat into a or the hat into a small ship, such as a cutter, a jolly boat, or a long boat. Uh, the boat is 20 feet long, has a pair of oars, and a single mast. Um, and can carry up to 12 crew um, and passengers. Wow. A hat. Uh, yeah, upon command dope. or after eight it's hours, cool the boat returns to hat form and <laughs> um, dumps any occupants out. So, so water, so vehicle proficiency is... Um, is your proficiency bonus. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. So you get double your proficiency bonus. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, that's what I was wanting. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember if there's a stat involved in that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's, no, it is your um, dex or int. Oh, it's your dex or int? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I got a seven now. Nice. Um, the Tidewater Cutlass. Does anybody want that? Uh, who uses I mean, swords? Me. I do. I okay. already have a special sword, though, so if you want a special sword. Okay. This one's probably more special than my plus one. Um, so the yeah. Tidewater Cutlass is a plus one scimitar. It's a, it's a cool sword. Um, its blade is spotted with rust, and its uh, basket hilt is cast in the like, like, uh, likeness of a grinning skull. Uh, the Tidewater Cutlass can be used once per day to create a blast of water that bursts forth from the sword and pushes an object or creature 10 feet away from its wielder. Um, DC 14 strength check negates the movement. Sirk will never be stranded on an island again. <laughs> <laughs> I have now made sure of that. And cool. It's, just like your rapier, it's plus one to attack and damage. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, effectively... You may want to look up scimitar, but I think they're effectively the same weapon. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I think so. it's one is it's light. Text. Yeah, I think the scimitar is light. What do you have before? He has a rapier. Rapier. Oh, rapier. I think yeah. they're, yeah. they're both. I think they're both the same. Same, same weapon. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when you go to uh, plunder the ship, mm. um, you get three hundred and fifty gold pieces yeah. um, and one unit of plunder. The ship had. Um, the ship had a, uh, a bunch of bolts of silk cloth that they were transporting. Um, this is worth a thousand gold pieces if you can sell it. Yeah. So you have to do some uh, some bartering, some bartering. there. Um, you definitely get um, seven hundred and fifty, yeah. um, but if you want to barter up, you can do it. So. Okay. And then we're gonna. So this ship is partially damaged now that it's missing its mast. Yeah. So we're going to have to somehow rig it yeah. to us. Uh -huh. Also, um, which is going to slow us down. if there were any people who did really well when we tried to board them, I mean, we have some opportunities that just opened up. Yeah, I, will, I will say you could probably get enough crew to fill up your crew yeah. with a, a full 20. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, some new people that maybe are under new management instead of having... And the other dogs. captain's still alive. <clears throat> the other captain's still alive. I, I want to ask him if he's... Do you work for anyone? Um, he has a merchant skill that he works for um, back in his home. Where do you where are you from? Sembia. Hmm. And he says... Um, what is he, your ship worth to you? He says, if he, he says I, can, I can't pay for my ship, but if you take it back to Sembia, um, then you could... Um, you could get quite a bit from the merchant skill. To buy back their ship. Also, that's totally a long trip. Totally unrelated to the fact that that's a long trip. We're heading to a shipyard right now, mm -hmm. and I'm sure someone wants a ship over there, or we could just use it to patch up our ship. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. parts ship. <laughs> yeah, good ship. <coughs> yep. Uh, the captain asks if he can be set free once you guys get to Emmerich's hold. I mean, do you have any you know, family that's looking out for you? He says, I'm familiar with you pirates and how you work. I if I tell you family, then I'm going to be ransomed back to my family. Mm -hmm. I have no family. 
<laughs> well, then I'm not going to let you go. Okay. So what do you do with him once you get, get him to Emmerich's hole? What's your plan? Let him go. <laughs> uh, we, uh, Sorry, no, I, what are we going to do? I'm not going to keep is, hanging on This is the discussion we had when we were right, right? So, yeah. I mean, uh, he, we take his valuables. We've, we've done that. Yeah. That's, and our that's buddy a has a buddy on his rock. Oh, are you leaving him? You yeah. Just, you're reaching the rest of the guys that are not loyal to you guys? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah. You can definitely do that. You find a deserted island that We're you can beat them on. Because, because that way, uh, if any of them make them back, the rumor is, well, you should probably offer them something, because otherwise they just leave you on a rock <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> and you guys are pirates. Yeah. That's what pirates would do. Yeah. You don't leave them, yeah, you, you, are you going to leave them a crossbow bolt and no crossbow? Or are you just going to throw down a dagger? Because I think either way, that's Fight it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to die, uh, I mean, that's have there. that guy slit your throat. That is for you. Feel free. Or catch a fish. Or catch a fish, yeah. Okay. It's a pretty fair roll. <laughs> so, um, why doesn't everybody go ahead and make a profession? If you're proficient in profession sla sailor, oh, go absolutely. ahead and do it. Who would be on a pirate ship and not have you proficient in profession? Um, I believe there's some people that are. <laughs> I'm not Profession or proficiency water vehicle? Yeah, proficiency water vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Not proficiency. Nope. That's, that's a Pathfinder thing. Eh, that's 12. Okay. 13. Okay. Uh, you want to roll for Xenos? Oh, uh, he, he does has, have. He has yeah. fake proficiency water vehicles. Because he's, he's got a special coat. So he's up to a five. I figured out why you thought that uh, Remington had a, a it coat. It was because I. It was the he coat. Has, yeah. He has a coat on his mini. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just normal. Seven. Okay. So you guys uh, feel like as you're. Oh, did, Eric, did you have proficiency in water? Oh, no, no. Okay. He, eight. He has. He's actually proficient. Okay. So as you guys um, are hooking the two ships together to basically tow this other ship into port. Um, you feel like you've done a decent enough job. Oh, hold on. That's what we're making this? This isn't just for sailing, that's for... This is this for, for engineering up. the... I mean, we still got a day left. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about instead of that, I do a 22. Okay, so, yes, um, like, so that works. That that's just, the other just like, fine. So really like we're doing that, and Zach is like sitting there, he's like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he has lashed the two ships together in such a fashion that, and this is not uncommon for pirates to do, yeah. to tow a ship into port. Um, so you, and you no can mask. leave um, other crew loyal to you on mm -hmm. the other ship yeah. to um, help keep it, to steer help. it, keep yeah. it in line and that kind of stuff. So you can tow it into port. Um, that ship is going to be worth... Um, well, we'll just get to that when we get to that. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know anymore. Yeah, it is. All but the mast. <laughs> so as you sail into Emmerich's Hold, um, you, it's much as if, uh, much as Vaziago left it from the, um, from the, un, the undiscerning eye. Undiscerning eye. The uh, side adventure. So you guys haul, haul in, um, start pulling your, your um, obtained loot onto the um, onto the decks and um, you're greeted by a uh, quartermaster um, or harbor master um, sorry harbor master and he says what's uh what's the ivory hold there it could be yours if it's the right price uh, I've got no I've got no want of a ship but um, if you take it to uh, Durkin Durkin? He he is a um, shipwright, and he could he could use it. Your ship appears to need some repairs too. Mm -hmm. Durkin can help you out with that as well. Fantastic. Durkin seems to be the man I need to see. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, yeah we'd go do you know Durkin. anyone who might be interested in uh, silk? Fine silk. Oh yeah, there's. You can definitely um, offload that. Uh, the price will be dependent on how how good a deal you can strike. But um, yeah, you can, he points you in the right direction of a silk merchant. Um, are you, is Vizago rolling into Emmerich's hold as full Vizago? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he notices yeah. um, you and yeah. he's like, are you Vizago free? I mean, no man could claim otherwise. Okay. 
mostly because I'm a tiefling. <laughs> he says, are you the same one that, that organized the heist on Volg from the Mighty? I don't think so. I don't remember ever being a part of a heist of any kind. Make a deception check. Yeah. <laughs> It is a new day, so if you need to use... That's true. I mean, 19's probably okay. Okay. Um, he says, well, posters matching your description um, were posted by Volgram's crew around town with your name. Mm -hmm. Craig pops up. And probably, a, you, probably a misunderstanding. You <laughs> might want to uh, lay low. <clears throat> Wait, can Vizago <laughs> actually do that? That is a good so question. that is the problem. <laughs> Vizago, not great at that. I Even believe I there's a fireworks you. display that spells out Vizago. <laughs> go, so as we're kind of negotiating this, can you do me a favor? Can you switch back to uh, scene one? Done. And then we'll um, spread out, clear off that map, because mm -hmm. uh, the ship map is not going to work for... Um, if we get to the part where I think we're going to get to eventually. Um, so just slide all the minis down. It yeah. doesn't have to be super clean. Um, so um, so the first thing you notice as you're walking through the streets of Emmerichshold is um, the Sleeping Serpent, where you met with the Yuwanti, uh -huh. is burned out. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't appear that anybody's taking any mind of it. Um, so, um, can you slot that down? Yeah. Um, so Do where I'm are you headed to? Are you gonna head to Durkin or? Are you yeah, we're gonna to... head to Durkin. Okay. Uh, also on the way, uh, Visago will pull aside a few of you and be like, so there's some things I need to tell you guys about. <laughs> and then, What'd you do? I may have stolen. Do you see this really? Set that down into the water. Yeah. Do you yeah, see this there. really cool armor and this really cool sword I have? Yeah. And this cool horn I have? And the fact that me and Craig came back with some money? Yeah. Not strictly ours. Uh, it, well, you, you, you have it, so it's yours. See, see, there's this fire giant who lives here. Okay. It was his? He was a pirate lord. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh make a history check. Yeah. Just an intelligence check. I got a, I got an eight. Okay. You've heard of Volgrim, but you haven't you wouldn't know that he is a fire giant. Yeah. But he is famous enough that with an eight you've heard of him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I mean the term stealing has been used. Uh, to be fair, I would have made a clean getaway, but my partner <laughs> Craig? God, Craig, not, what? not Craig. What? Craig, Craig's fine. Craig's great. We're still cool, oh. Craig. Right? Right, Craig? Like I got yeah. his character sheet right here. If you Me want and to Craig are cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, I believe our accomplice may have gone caught, and which means um, if it's who I think it is, they might know. Well, so just to refresh your memory, yeah. um, you know that uh, Thrax saw you. I believe he, no, we he, were, saw, he, he saw he, Thevin, he right. saw Thevin. He saw Thevin, yeah. He saw Thevin. So yeah, you you think that two and two. Yeah, that that together. if they are recognizing me, it means Thevin gave up yeah. the goods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I it was a fit fit shot. Yeah. So. <laughs> so if we can fix up the other ship, um, Xenos is thinking that we give it to Nevermore or Poe and make have them captain it. And then <laughs> so he's Commodore Xenos. <laughs> you, also, like, can, no? I, can I point out that a bird is getting a ship before me? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so, um, I just think we should. While this yeah. conversation is happening on yeah. your way to uh, Durkin, yeah. um, uh, you come to a shipyard, yeah. which has multiple ships that are in some state of disassembly. Um, and Durkin is a half elf. Uh, that walks out, and he looks like a leather satchel um, <laughs> because he has spent every day in the sun. And on the sea. And on the sea. So he walks up to you, and he says, Are you Zago? 
I know, but I get that all the time. Oh, okay. That's weird. Why don't you make an exception? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Vizago. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying no? Uh, that's a 20. I'm sorry, okay. 21. Uh, yeah. He did. He, I get that all the time. It's the weirdest thing. Weird. Yeah. Don't, um, you may want to lay low in this town because Vizago is on a lot of people's uh, S Re lists. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I, I mean, he sounds like a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can I do for you, fellas? Uh, we have a ship you might be interested in, and also our ship might need some repairs. I can definitely repair your ship. Uh, and so I'll show him the Ivory Hold and the Tempest Tempers. Okay. And essentially, I want to try and work out a deal with him where we sell, probably, I'm thinking we sell it to him at a good price, and okay. in exchange, he fixes up our ship. Okay. So why don't you make an insight check to figure out a, an approximate value of what you're thinking? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and use a luck roll on that. <laughs> <laughs> the god of luck, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a new day. Uh, so that's a 14 insight. Oh, uh, Xenos is trained, so you actually get advantage. Oh, sweet. That is a 14. 14. <laughs> okay. So you, believe, yeah. you believe that um, a ship like that in this kind of port would be worth about 10,000 gold pieces because of the damage to the ship. Um, also the fact that some extensive modifications would need to be done to the ship to make it See not it appear to be the ivory hold anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, which, if they sh sailed to Symbia, would be a problem. Yeah. Um, so he <clears throat> says to you, he's willing to offer you um, let me get to one thing here. So I was looking at something else. I was like, and I don't remember how much it costs to repair our ship. So um, It was a lot, though. So it is 100 gold a day. And um, and the the gold repairs ten damage. Your ship was damaged by two hundred, I believe. Something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a significant amount of gold. It's two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. He mm -hmm. offers you mm -hmm. five thousand gold pieces for the ship, and um, would be happy to to fix your ship as well. I'm going to go ahead and attempt a persuasion check to see if I can get the price up. Just a Sure, bit. absolutely. So we'd net 3,000 gold mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. Right. Natural 20? <coughs> natural 20, and then let's just, you know, just for funsy, let's throw them my natural 26. Okay. So um, describe to me how how this talk happens. So, um, Upgrades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm like, I mean, that's pretty good, but... Listen, I, I didn't want to tell, and I'm, I'm going to push him aside from the group. I'm like, I'm scared. I didn't want to scare my crew, but this ship mm -hmm. is cutting edge stuff. Mm -hmm. It's got special designs. And I start bullshitting about how it's cut a certain way so okay. it's faster in the water okay. and everything. He's like, right. it's hot, but if you change the hole, it's one of the best ships you'll ever have. They're, don't tell them. They're going to freak out because I, I took some initiative, these guys. They're not really pirates. I think they're fishermen or something. Whatever. But I know a good <laughs> take when I that's, see that's one. That's true. And so, I'm like, so if you can just, you know, 3,000 gold is good, but I mean, just a little oomph to my ship to kind of... He says, I'll tell you what. The same 5,000 gold, mm -hmm. and we'll repair your ship for free. Fantastic. So 5,000 gold for the crew. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or 5,000 gold. We need to go sell that cloth to get that plunge. Yeah, we do. So, um... So While we, you're seeking out um, a place to sell your your plunder, oh, and Sirk's finding a bar after, <laughs> because he's being left unattended. After after, after that, I'm gonna go up to Craig and I'll be like, <clears throat> Craig, I've been thinking. Mm. I think we might need to go undercover. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Like, you don't say. say. Yeah. Now he's pieced that together. Now Craig, <laughs> he's already like wearing a disguise. <laughs> That's awful. He's cut his beard way down. <laughs> he just tucked it in. Let's like see. it's not. What is? Oh, oh yeah. Let's see his deception check. Let's let's yeah. check this out. Fourteen. No. 
Yeah. Solid. That uh, <laughs> looks like garbage. But yeah, I was going to ask, is it, because I, I don't think there's a disguise, I have a disguise kit, and it's a deception roll. <clears throat> it is a deception roll. The disguise kit, I believe, gives you a bonus to it, but I yeah. don't know exactly what the bonus is. I don't so. either, to, off the top of my head. Equipment. Proficiency with this kit lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability check you make to create a visual disguise. There Fantastic. You there you go. Thank you. So, plus two. Because so, I have that as well. Okay. Oh, so I get to add plus two to my already. And you're proficient with it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you roll with advantage because... Oh, because uh, you, you can help me out. Help. Yeah. 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 42, that's not bad. I don't know. I'll take the 14. 14 plus 2. 25. 25. Okay, so you believe that no one will recognize you uh, as you disguise yourself. Now... Vizago, why don't we describe Vizago before the disguise and then after the disguise? So Vizago is wears loose red armor with kind of like a loose, like traveling coat. Mm -hmm. uh, has you know curled up horns, mm -hmm. half shaven head that goes over one side of his horns, gold and silver teeth that is, he's replaced his fangs with gold and silver on opposite sides, covered. Covered in and tattoos. pirate tats, including the giant flaming uh, tiefling wind. skull, hellish wind. Yeah. And like, he's got his prison barcode on one side of his chest from when he, <laughs> covered in tats. So that's normal Visago. Uh -huh. Disguised Visago. He takes the coat. Okay. He flips it out. Okay. He puts it back on. Okay. He buttons it up. Okay. And he puts on a fake goatee. <laughs> but the reason why it's so high is because Vizago is the kind of guy whose confidence is so much in his <laughs> shitty disguise that everyone's like, well, clearly that's not him. You wouldn't just go walking around like that. Right. <laughs> now roll for Craig? Yeah. <laughs> and I can help him out, right? Yeah. You, you, well, you've got advantage on this one. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's actually pretty good. Oh, shoot. That's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. yeah, so... What's the language he's, name? He's got, actually, he's got it better than me. He's got a 26. Okay, so um, he... He's not Craig I'm going to say what you, you disguise him as a Dwargar. So he oh, is dark. just coal black yeah. with... Um, and you know what that looks like. Yeah. With bleach white hair, uh, bleach white beard, which he is very upset by mm -hmm. it because, uh, because no and one touches his beard. See this. Don't worry, it washes out and then like over his shoulder too. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's, he's trying to put that <laughs> bleach doesn't work so as you guys are uh, taking care of your disguises and walking around trying to find a um, so by the way um, it's 10 it's 10 damage a day that the ship is repaired so you guys are going to be here, here for, for a, a long time uh, 10 damage 10 days? 20 days yeah 20 days to get your ship repaired. <clears throat> um, now you can leave early if you want to leave early, but um, no, you, your ship no. is going to be. Our ship is early. getting repaired. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, we finally got to a point where we could repair the ship. There is a town crier that's walking through, talking about um, <clears throat> goblin raiders that have been seen on the seas. Goblin raiders, pillaging pirates and merchants alike, flying the sail of a black uh, black. Field and uh, red flames. We know that is. What a flame sail. That's they couldn't, they couldn't try it a That's the bit same. Harder. Yeah, no, it's the Goblin Ranch. We know yeah, from the other time, Yeah, it's right? the Legion of the Ember Flame. Is uh, what you know the so, Cirque's going to go up to the Harbor Master when, as okay. he wanders off. Yeah. Uh, so, where's a good place to get a drink? Oh, there's the Fairwind. Um, there used to be the uh, the Sleeping Serpent. Um, that's not such a good place anymore. He points over to the burned out building. Uh, and yeah, then there's the powder keg. Oh, the powder that's, keg. That's a said. rough and tumble place. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so it goes into the kitchen. Okay. Where's uh, Foxfire heading with, with uh, all of this? <clears throat> did you head off with Fizaga or did you head off with Cirque or you got your own thing that you're doing? Hmm. Are you splitting the party three ways is what I'm asking? No, we're not going to. Okay. You know, I'm taking an interest in Cirque and his craziness, so I'm going to follow him into okay. the tavern. So you follow um, him time watching that show. How, however, I'm going to let Cirque go into the tavern first, and then I slowly just kind of slide in and immediately <laughs> against the wall in the back okay. to be pretty much out of sight. Okay. So you you enter into the, uh, the, the powder keg. 
Okay. Uh, the first thing you notice is it is almost empty because you have rolled in early in the day. Uh, but there is a gnome behind the bar that is standing on uh, a stool. And he's kind of wiping down a section of the bar. He's got um, some glasses that he's cleaning with a very dirty rag. The same rag that he's wiping down the bar with, he's cleaning the glasses with. Um, and then you notice um, the only other occupants at this time of day are a group of uh, three um, fairly capable looking individuals all dressed in black that are sitting in a, um, a booth at the far corner of the bar. They uh, definitely notice you walk in because they... Um, I got they're, a great hat. They're, well, the, that <laughs> and they're faced so that they can see the only entrance. Um, and with their backs to the wall? Yeah. Uh, Foxfire, um, did you make a stealth roll to get in? Oh. Fifteen. Okay. Um, they also notice you walk in, too. Yeah. Hot. So, how's it going? Good. Can I help you, my friend? Yeah, can I get a drink? Yeah. All right. So that'll be a uh, silver piece. And he pours you uh, an ale. <laughs> um... Where, where are you from? Uh, yeah, I can't even think of the name of the island that we're from now. Paldir. 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 Okay. Paldir, right? Yeah, Paldir. Yeah. Um, you tell him Paldir? Yeah. He kind of blanches at that. Like, the color just drains from his face, and he's like, how long has it been since you've been to Paldir? A while. It's been about... Like two months. Two months. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing is we need to sort out how much you pay your crew. Oh, uh, yeah. We got we got some plunder now. Yeah. 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 But. Um, it's I, been two months. I forgot what the the amount of money it was per day of sailing, but it is. It's, it's, it's like a gold a day or something like that. So. Um, gold with like, what, okay. we had like 15 crew? You had 20. Well, minus uh, the three dead people. Uh-huh. Uh, four dead people, so we had 16. Uh huh. So. Math, everybody. Yeah. Six, 16 times. Yeah. 16 times what? 30, 60 90, days? Or two months? Yeah, so yeah. 60. 60 days. 960 gold. Okay. So. So you got to sell that, that, that plunder one, for yeah. the full yeah. value yeah. so that you can pay yeah. the crew. Or, I mean, we got the 5,000 gold for the ship. Yeah. Yeah. He can, he can pay out of that, too. Um, so he says, um, I hate to tell you this, friend, but uh, there is no more Paldir. Did they sell it? Rumors of the sea say that, uh, that Paldir was um, scorched to bare earth by a dragon. Hang on, let's circle make a wisdom save. Okay. So a wisdom check. A uh, five. Okay. He goes, <laughs> well, we chased that one away. Maybe he came back. Did they say what color? I believe it was a red dragon. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the one that was declared to be the biggest one Poe had ever seen. Yeah, uh, I got a 19 to remember that. Right. Or Cirque did. And right. Oh, uh, you oh, also oh. remember with your 19 um, that along with Zago and Craig, um, Seasage Londyager came back to um, Emmerich's hold with them to learn more about the creature that they kept calling the Ember Flame. Okay. So Londyager should be here somewhere. And he spent two months here. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Craig's going to be very upset. Anyway, where's that drink? <laughs> he slides the drink down. I'm going to need a lot of this. Okay. He says, and I'm, here, my crew, when they find out, is also going to need a lot of these. If so your you money might spends, want to then it's good here. Okay, so after a few drinks, he's going to say, who are those guys over there? Uh, those are Zents. What are those? Uh, oh, you might know them as the Black Network. Go ahead and make an intelligence check. 
Um, Cirque's never heard of that. <laughs> so, again, the notoriety, even with the five, um, you know that they're known as a band of mercenaries and arms dealers, um, but you don't know too much more about them okay. than that. Um, yeah, because that's who Craig and Mazago mm -hmm. did work with, right? No, we... Um, <clears throat> you saw them here before. We saw them when we were in the sewers. They were kidnapping somebody, and we kind of were like... Yeah, they had somebody in a sack. Oh, and right. they were walking through the sewers with them. Oh, they had that... The purple <laughs> was the one that was leading them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and also, so, I think they were hired on as security for... Um, uh, what's his face? His whole... Uh, yeah, Volgrim's. Volgrim's, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to ask... Um, the, my new gnome friend here. What is his name? His name is Grix. Grix. So where can a man find something fun to do in town? Oh, there's lots of things. Uh, the what do you like to do? Do you like to fight? <clears throat> yes. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, the Fairwind, um, which is the other tavern, um, seventeen doors down. He said. Uh, the Fairwind is having a tournament uh, because they lost their champion. Uh, champion uh, Jeff Rue, I believe his name was, mm -hmm. he won a fight his first night to become champion and then was never seen again. Well, I am already a champion of another island. Really? Yes. Do you have a belt? I do not have a belt. They well, give the, you a belt for being the, a champion? The belt for the Fairwind is very nice, my um, friend. I, I just had to beat this ogre in combat. Oh. Well, if you can beat an ogre, you should definitely enter. Yeah, me and my bear beat an ogre. Oh, uh, well, that's not, that's less impressive. You should probably leave out the bear part the next time you tell the story. Well, thanks for... Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to make a persuasion check with Grix? Yeah. Let's do persuasion. All right. Untrained. Four. Four. <laughs> he says, well, it's nice talking to you. I've got other things to get there. And he hops down off his stool and wanders it just, off. It just disappears. Starts yeah. like, where did you, you see, go? You see him come around the side of the bar with glasses for the, the group that is in the corner. I say, hi, guys. They look at you. And then I leave. Um, <laughs> Let me make a perception. Firefox, anything you want to do? Foxfire. Or Foxfire, not <laughs> I told you he was good every time. <laughs> Let's see. My perception um, check is a 20. Okay. You see him. He walked in. Yeah. I just watched the exchange. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, I'm, okay. I'm see what he's doing. He doesn't realize that might be you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get into a fight? No. <laughs> just, he's just slightly he's like... You look like somebody I should know. You look? M yeah. Maybe. Like, like a, a man. Elf. Like an like a elfin man. <laughs> and then I leave. Okay. Um, okay, so... You're coming! <laughs> Shipwreck stumbles out of the bar. Do you follow? Yeah. Yep. All right. Mini drinks. Someone man. now has to take care of this uh, stumbling yeah, the monstrosity. Stumbling mess. Um, okay. Did you, did you not know? We all drew straws and you weren't there, so the sore straw came up. Yeah, that is a 15 on my deception check to act drunk this whole time. Oh, yeah, you appear to be drunk. Okay. And I just go, <clears throat> next marks. And I just. <laughs> <laughs> so you're heading to the fair one? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Back to Vizago. Vizago, uh, are you heading towards uh, the merchant's district to sell your yeah, gold we're gonna, silk? We're going to sell the gold silk. So, uh, but the, I think immediately because we got the disguise, we're like, all right, cool. Now we got to sell. You lost him. <laughs> Craig, you told me you, told me you were going to look and tell me if he went. To, I, my hair was in my eyes. That doesn't matter, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a full on. It's white, but it, it's the full on like emo yeah. hair across God, the face. Like you can't see. Yeah, yeah. Just wanna, uh, that's my back. That was the other part of his eyes. But he just put his half a hair into like tip knot at the bottom. Oh, you got a man bun? Uh, he's got a man oh. bun because he's, oh. he's going to like. Cirque would totally cut that off. Oh, 100 percent, right? <laughs> um, but he's in there. He's like, ah, Craig, we were left alone on this island for three days. And we have a bounty on our heads <laughs> and a fire giant chasing us. Cirque is alone on the side. 
And I, I think we would go towards the powder keg because he's like, well, if I know. Okay. Uh, it just sounds like a place where he okay, was. Okay, so yeah. you Kaboom. start heading that, yeah. that direction, and you see uh, Cirque being drunk, um, heading out of the powder keg because he, he, he took off from the like, ship um, <laughs> and headed the other direction. So you, you come across yeah. uh, Cirque. Oh, Cirque, jeez. <sighs> now. Um, wait, wait. How do you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> This guy is really mm. nice. That's fair. And he's drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> that is a 14 on my perception check. No. Oh, sir. Oh, of course, sir. You don't know who I am. <laughs> no, of course I don't know who you are. It's Vizago. That is not Vizago. <laughs> no, it, 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 that's Craig. That is not Craig. <laughs> <laughs> that is a demon. All right, let's roll a perception. Let's roll a persuasion check here, real quick. Uh, that is a seventeen persuasion. As I'm just like he, trying to he work the out. You. Yeah. My disguise. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one, Craig. <laughs> you look <laughs> hideous. That's <laughs> 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 a grumpy dwarf. So what he, oh, is, what he, no. he was happy. Now he's grumpy. <laughs> I'll be like. <laughs> Look, this is crazy. Uh, last time I was here, there was one thing I wanted to do when we got back. What's that? It was, make a shit ton, it was to make a shoot ton of money <laughs> bringing you back to a place I know. What, what place? It's called the Fairwind. I'm going there right now. Fantastic. <laughs> Hold my hat. <laughs> okay. I don't want to lose anything. Yeah. yeah. So you guys head off to the fair one? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay. Because, listen, important business needs to be done, but there's drinking and gambling. There's happen. drinking and gambling that needs to be so done. So it's not going to get done today. To <laughs> <laughs> so, again, this is, in, this is in early. We're probably about 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. um, and you walk into the fair one. Um, it is... It's got a few patrons in it. Um, it is better off than the powder keg. Yeah. Um, it's got a few patrons. There's a uh, barkeep... Uh, behind the bar that is wiping it down, um, getting prepared for the day. He's kind of giving directions to the staff to to make sure he talks about, got a big night tonight, mm. first night of the tournament. So, oh, okay, hold on. Let's see if I can take it back up. Oh, yes, there is a tournament tonight, I hear. Let me tell you something. I bring with you one of the finest fighters I've ever found. Cross really? distant seas. No one's seen him. He's an orc with no past. No name, the mysterious stranger. <laughs> so he's like, look, oh, that guy sounds cool. <laughs> so, um, make a persuasion check. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's a 23. Okay. So Sir, he says, Sir failed his inside we actually check. just had somebody drop out. Um, if you can cover the entrance fee, uh, you can certainly have your half orc fight. So I'm going to make another perception check. Okay. Uh, not a perception, I mean a persuasion check. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll it first and then say it because it's going to determine on how well I say this. Sure. I'm going to use a luck. Is <laughs> Cirque stumbles how many luck have you and used trips used over a chair? Too. Okay. I made a dexterity check because he's Oh, that's much up. better. So that is going to be a uh, 22. Okay. Um, so he says... Are you, how are you going to cover his entrance fee? And he goes, how are you going to cover his booking fee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> As Sturk stumbles and falls over a stool. This is it. <laughs> this is a man who has conquered other fighting pits before. That half-orc? That half-orc. All he knows is battle. How, how can you expect a ship to walk on land? That's not what he does. <laughs> he beats people up. That's it. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you some of his accomplishments. And I start listening islands that don't exist about okay. like different fighting <laughs> sure, absolutely. So but this I, guy sounds but amazing. I, but I end it because I have insider information and just recently we were in this island. Again, island doesn't exist. Okay. And there was some hot shot there. He's going off. He's saying, oh, I'm the best fighter around from the best fighting pit. And I'm like, whatever. And he beat the crap out of him. Some guy who said he was your champion, probably a lie. Some guy called Jet Jeff Poo. Jeff Roo? Jeff. Jeff yeah, you've, ah, Jeff Roo. You've seen Jeff Roo? Yeah, he beat the crap out of him. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well. So I was like, maybe I don't know. I think we can handle him. And he's like, he makes a note to bet against 
uh, sir. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he says, yeah, uh, the, uh, we're, uh, we're doing the fights after dusk. If you want to come back, um, I'll, hold the, I'll hold the spot for you and your, your crew. Fantastic. We've got a stage built, and he points out to the bay, and you can see that there is a large <laughs> fighting ring erected on the water. Um, and it's got uh, torches in each corner that uh, allow patrons to see the distance um, to to view the fights. And there are multiple balconies and kind of a pier. Um, there was a pier section that set up in front of the pair wind, wind anyway, but it's being yeah. transitioned into a WrestleMania type event. Um, and he says, "This is this is called the Fairwind Brawl for it all." Oh, I like the name. <laughs> are we still level four? Or are we level five? You will be level five um, next time we play. Okay. Um, you are level four right now. Uh, technically, you're level five, but um, I don't want to deal with a level change mid midway through this. I game. just I just get a second attack. That's all. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, so, so if I'm so fighting, we it's will, definitely a We will bonus. be back after dusk, and the mysterious stranger will be our new champion. This I swear. Your accent seems to be changing, my friend. It does that sometimes. <laughs> your your uh, goatee, goatee is sli slightly bit, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> It does that sometimes. It does that sometimes. And I come back, and in normal voice, I go up to Cirque, and I'm like, now listen, remember how we had those talks about how sometimes Uncle Vizago lies? I'm yes. doing that right now. So if something doesn't make sense, just nod. Okay. Like, like normal? Like normal. Okay. Like normal. Great. So, um, what would you like to do next? I would like to go sell that, uh, that silk. The bolt of cloth? Yeah. Okay. So, you head to a, um, a tailor by the name of uh, Immert. Um, and Immert is uh, a halfling female that is out front um, hawking her wares. Um, and she basically is trying to trying to lure people in for um, custom fittings um, as you walk up. And she says, how can I help you? Oh, I, I have a fine selection of goods I'd like you to take a look at, and I'll take out the thing. Oh. And I'm definitely doing a little singing in the back of okay. like just right. the back of my throat. She says, these are, these are fine silks. Where did you find these? Ah, uh, better not ask, my friend. <laughs> Pirate Island. <laughs> <laughs> she says, bring them in, bring them in. And yeah. she lays them across um, a, a large table, especially large for her. Yeah. And she gets up and walks across it and then look, inspects the, the silks. And she says, these are good. How much do you want for them? So I'm going to make that inside check to see if I can figure out what the price is normally right. on these. Right. Uh, that is a 14. You believe that you could get somewhere between the range of um, 750 mm -hmm. to 1250, depending on your um, your bargaining. She's like, these looks can be yours for the low, low price of 1200 gold. 1200 gold? That's too rich for my blood, she says. Oh, and then... I'm, I'm sorry. I did not know I was speaking to a commoner who doesn't <laughs> deal in fine wares. <laughs> and I'm going to make my persuasion check. Okay, make your persuasion check. That's why we keep one for the deal. <laughs> <laughs> the God of Luck, ladies and gentlemen. The God of Luck. Oh, yeah, that's a bit different. Okay. Uh, so that is... Um, uh, 23. She says, uh, 1250 is still a little high, You're but I, I will go 1200. How about that? 1200 works for me. Okay. And the deal is struck. And now you have 300 gold pieces and a paid crew. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because yeah. if they don't get paid. Well, um, because that's our next stop because we're about to raise more out through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> you come back with a cart full of cash. Yeah, so, and I just start uh, dishing Karen, out payments. Roll it a D8 yeah. for me. Yeah, absolutely. Eight. Okay. Um, she says, have you heard about the the fighting ring? Your friend here looks oh. like he can handle a fight. Oh, you mean the mysterious stranger. 
He's a half orc that comes from no place. No one knows this place or his name. Whoa. The mysterious stranger. The mysterious stranger. So the you... like three people that get that reference are losing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when we get back to the ship, mm -hmm. the, I Sir pulls you aside and he goes, mm -hmm. um, "I have some downer news. Do you want me to give the downer news first, and then you pump him up with the cash?" I mean, sure, what's the down, what the, uh, sorry, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, what's the downer news? I mean, what? Oh, uh, you, you, I think you should find out with everybody else. All right, I mean, it's not serious. Um, <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, it's going to be a, learning. it's going to be a big shock to everybody when they learn that Paldir is just gone from the map. <laughs> That's a, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that big red dragon we saw flying over? Yeah. One day? Yeah, you just leveled our island. Gone, just gone. Oh, sorry, Craig. Sorry. Oh, oh Craig is Craig. <laughs> like he just bursts, bursts into tears and uh, is in immediately in shock. Yeah. Um, Craig, look. Uh, uh, it's, sorry, Craig. It's I give ten my, gold I'm, pieces, <laughs> Craig. Huh? <laughs> 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 He Bye. takes the ten gold pieces because he's a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even a member of our crew. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's for my personal thing. I just have you ever seen a sad dwarf? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Permanent promotion for now Captain Xenos. <laughs> so, um, so you tell the crew. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, you, um, <clears throat> you pay them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I think we'll board it where we'll have like kind of a somber note, right? We'll okay. And they're like, and I understand this is hard. A lot of us probably lost things. However, you also all made money today. <laughs> <laughs> and for and then he'll go into like full speech. Like he's gonna try and spin this. Persuasion. Uh, that is a seventeen. Okay. So you you tell a, a good tale about the the. Um, <clears throat> Things that you will accomplish once yeah. you've got your ship repaired, uh, and they appear to nod. There, you know, it's somber. A yeah. lot of them had families yeah. on the island, um, and they head out to get pissed drunk. Yeah, no. And then Follow I go. Me, boys. And also, <laughs> for all of you waiting to see what kind of retribution a true son of Paldir can have, let me tell you about Cirque, who, by the way, ground rules. Never we're there. in town. He's called the Mysterious Stranger. <laughs> uh, all, from parts also, unknown? Also, me and Craig, not me and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> my my name is actually um, Well let's do let's do Craig's name. Does Craig have a fake name he wants to use? I don't know, Mike. Does Craig uh, have a fake, fake name he wants to use? Craig? Crag. <laughs> Crag. 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 Rumble wave. Okay. Crag rumble wave. Crag rumble wave. <laughs> and I am, of course, a non visago free because that apparently, who knew, wanted criminal in this area. <laughs> uh, no, my, my name, of course, is uh, Anthonos. Antonos. Okay. Uh, Cirque's gonna go try to find a wanted poster. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. If you're not trained in investigation, it's just intelligence. Yeah. Three. Uh, it <laughs> takes you about an hour to find a, a the, the right. Walk past the message board like two times. Yeah. Oh, probably. But you a lot eventually. More than yeah. Find, like, <laughs> somebody keeps telling me there's a message board over there. It's yeah. a fairly decent likeness of Zaga. Okay. I I take it back to his cabin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> You can start a collection. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, like, uh, it, it has, so you can't read, right? Oh, he can read? Oh, okay, you can read. Yeah. Okay, so it's, uh, he's worth 3,000 gold pieces. You're worth 3,000. Fucking 3,000 gold pieces. The fucking cane I stole was worth more than 3,000 <laughs> gold pieces. Wait, way more than 3,000 gold pieces. <laughs> but then I keep it because I do like it. I'm yeah. like, it's really good likeness. <laughs> I put it next to the others. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait till we have the Mirage wanted posters on his wall. Yes. Oh. 
You should get that signed by the author, um, <laughs> by the artist. So is there anything else that you want to do before the Fairwind, uh, the brawl for it all? There is one other thing I want to do that involves the bar, which is I would like to try and mingle and see if I can find out any information about Daven while we're here. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure Xenos would either be watching over the ship or looking for Sea Sage Lawn Yager. Okay. Or, um, actually, um, wouldn't uh, Sarsarel? Doesn't Sarsarel know Sea Sage Lawn Yager? He, yeah. They both know him. Um, they can Actually, that's where they would be. They would have sought him okay. out. So, um, They're next, off doing that. next week when we pick back up, uh, Doug and Howard will be on a camping trip, so they will not be here next week, but I can fill you in on what they learned from Sea Sage Lawn, Lawn okay. Yager. Um, <laughs> you should go around autographing your posters. Nice. <laughs> so, so on that. you make it back to the Fairwind, um, and why don't you go ahead and make a um, perception, or not perception, um, investigation check. Investigation? All right. Yeah. Because you're looking for specific information. Yeah. Uh, that is a 15. And I'm sorry, remind me again what the information you were looking for? David. I'm trying to David. find out anything on Faith. Okay. So uh, with a 15, you you get a couple of pieces of information. One, um, you, you believe that Volgrim, uh, well, Volgrim has um, one of the members of the person that did the heist. The, the information that you get is that there was a 15-person um, break-in. It was very well coordinated. Um, they were calling it Potions 15. Um, <laughs> oh, <and laughs> wow. And um, word is that, oh, that, that so a good. dwarf, a, uh, a tiefling, <clears throat> and a human were the only uh, people to escape. Um, but uh, Volgrim's men have been um, on a tear since the event, and they... Um, assaulted, uh, they they burned down the uh, sleeping serpent, and then they um, as they should. It was all their fault. Then they um, did their best to wreck uh, a, another merchant's shop called uh, uh, Gear Guts. But he was already gone by the time. <laughs> um, they're they're they. Word is that they are looking for gear guts, yeah. um, and they haven't located him yet. Yeah. We gotta give him his black powder. Yeah, yeah. we gotta refine him. Yeah. Um, did you want to look for any other piece? Oh, I'm sorry, I gave you two pieces of yeah. information. Um, so the other piece of information that you find is that word is that um, members of the Black Network are hiring to. Um, Hiring advent or they're looking for adventurers to go help clean them, clean out a location by the name of Zentinel Keep, and you can make an, a history check for that. Yeah. Um, Nineteen. Okay, so you know that Zentinel Keep is um, a large um, ruined castle that was home to um, a organization that became the Black Network called the Zentarum. And the Zentarum, um, many years ago, was kind of, they were almost like a, a Roman civilization. They had uh, a rise and then they had an eventual fall with wars of, uh, uh, amongst their neighbors. Um, and Zentinel Keep was the basically the home of the Zentarum. Uh, is it on a coast? It is um, to the north. Okay. Yeah. Um, Just a dumb question. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what you get. Um, Foxfire, what are you doing? Um, well, let's go in through town, kind of. Eavesdropping on conversations, trying mm -hmm. to pick up any information, anything that's pertinent to, uh, well, anything about what happened. Are you leaving your where? sword on the ship? Oh, uh, you switched swords. I've got. Yeah. He's got the sword that <coughs> is the heist. My sword cane. No, but my cane? sword. His that his uh, purple dragon knights. Oh, oh yeah. right. Yes, <laughs> I would have. Uh, <laughs> 
learned pretty Fair fast enough. being on a pirate ship yeah. to, yeah, yeah. to yeah. leave that sword behind. I catch so pirates um, for a living sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is really not good. Yeah. That is only a five. Why don't you use one okay. of your seven abilities to reroll dice? Hey, I don't have you. Thank you. <laughs> re roll dice. So, um, what you oh, hear is because, Shut up. and you hear, you notice this with a five. You notice this because um, you know something about it. Um, you hear that the red were, the red wizards of Thay are looking for a crew of a ship called the Tempest Temptress. And the reason that that strikes your fancy is, hey, I was on the Tempest Temptress. Um, And if you want to make an intelligence or history check, I can tell you what you know about the Red Wizards. Mm. I'm not the only one who built up. That's a seven. Okay. Um, You know that there is a cabal of wizards from Thay that um, are typically not well liked. So a bunch of not well liked people want to find us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did we do? Who did we piss off? I mean, today, uh, probably a few merchants, a ship. Maybe uh, that hard. was their silk. Maybe they were yeah. making more ropes. Yeah. yeah. Know. You know. So as you're nice kind of silk. discussing this and kind of comparing information, <laughs> yeah. uh, the barkeep slaps you on the back and says, uh, "Is your fighter ready?" Oh, the mysterious stranger is always ready for. Okay. Isn't that right, mysterious stranger? And I, yes. you know, I go, Psst, you're the stranger. Yeah. So he goes, <laughs> he goes over um, to uh, another tiefling, and he says, this one is called the mysterious stranger from nowhere. Uh, and the, the, the tiefling is, so he's got like yak's horns. They're like yeah. long and out to the side. And then he's got porcupine quills instead of hair. But they kind of uh, uh, push him back. And he's a purplish color. Um, And he says, okay, the mysterious stranger from nowhere. Uh, You're up against Tom the Cobbler. And he he, he says, you're up. And they row, they have a rowboat um, that goes out. Um, Can you move the torches so that they're actually in the corners? corners. Um, And then, so you get put out on... Here is Tom the Cobbler, the insert. <laughs> so um, a crowd gathers. Um, and we'll <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. I walk over so and throw up over the So the tiefling edge. announces to the crowd, he says, Ladies and gentlemen, our first round of the night. Tom the Cobbler from Cobbler's Guild versus the Mysterious Stranger from Parts Unknown. And at that point, when everyone's like, what the fuck? I go, a uh, hundred gold on the Mysterious Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no... Um, there's no real recognition on this first round of the combat. Um, so, Mike, you need to roll initiative for me. All right. Did you um, maybe say some words? Well, yeah, because I went up there. I'm like, hey, buddy, you got this D6, by the way. All right. <laughs> okay. On something? On something. Okay. So, Mike, what was your initiative? Uh, 22. Okay, so you beat Tom the Cobbler in initiative. I'm going to probably beat him senseless here in a second. <laughs> and he's, like... Dodging and weaving, he's got a little. He's doing a little stretching, um, and uh, are we back to the camp? Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. As soon so, as we put the minis down, I switched. So yeah, what are you gonna do to Tom the cobbler? Uh, I'm gonna walk over to him and quietly say, "It might be best if you just swam away," <laughs> and then I'm gonna give him a right hook. Okay. A mean right hook. A mean right hook. That is uh, 21 to hit him. Oh, yeah, you hit him. For 10 damage. So you hit him. <laughs> you hit him right. You know, when you, you watched MMA. Oh, yeah. Where Joe Rogan says right on the button, which yeah. is approximately this side of the face. Just, no, it's, it's, from, <laughs> it's from here to here. So that's where you hit him. Like when you the do, entirety yeah. of that area, yeah. and he just goes down like a sack of bricks. 
Oh! <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tap him. Are you, are you okay? You hear him snoring quietly. <laughs> He's okay! <laughs> <laughs> so I pat um, him on the back. I look for something to like pick him up and like carry him over to the boat. <laughs> the tiefling comes back out with the rowboat. And he's like, well, that was a short time. <laughs> How about another fight, ladies and gents? He's, he's taking a nap. Is that is that legal? <laughs> I think you knocked him unconscious, sir. Oh. Okay. Um, so the night progresses um, because it is a term tournament. It's King of the Ring style tournament. Um, and there are more fights. Your bet, um, for the sake of this, it's they're, yeah. they're not taking bets on... Yeah, individual, individual fights, fights. It's, yeah. Uh, to win the tournament. That's to why I did it at the beginning of yeah. the tournament. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so you see a few fights, um, and why don't you guys all make insight oh, checks oh, for me? Untrained, 17. No, nice. 11. 12. 12, okay. I'm very excited. Um, so, you guys don't notice much. You're kind of carousing a little bit. You're preparing for your next fight. You notice that um, there is a minotaur that fights, <laughs> that decimates uh, with just a charge attack, not even like swinging his, uh, swinging his fist. He decimates the first round of combat, uh, the person that he's matched up with. Um, so that might be someone to watch. And he is announced as, um, let's see here. Gary. Um, <laughs> Gary, Gary the Minotaur. Kunjar huh? Fisthorn. Man, that's a Which weird way to say he's Gary. Also, he's also <laughs> announced as from the deck, the deck of the Maelstrom. Which, Ooh. if you want to spend the next round of the tournament, if you want to kind of see if you can find out more about that, you can definitely... Uh, you can definitely make a persuasion check to, to or an investigation, whichever is easier for you. Um, that's a 21 investigation. Okay. So the Maelstrom is uh, Captain Volgrim's ship. Oh. His personal ship. Because he is he is uh, a pirate lord, so he has several. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Mike. Yeah. Um, you are rowed back out to the, uh, to the ship. And yep. you know what? I forgot <clears throat> to grab um, one. So we're going to use the same mini. I okay. forgot to grab uh, who you're fighting. Um, and the, the tiefling, um, who you've now been introduced to as uh, as Mean Sting Jokerlin. <laughs> <laughs> as you do. Way to go, Mean Sting. <laughs> he, he announces you first. He says, what was his name again? The Mysterious The Mysterious Stranger. Uh, uh, mysterious he stranger. comes from parts unknown. From parts with no unknown. No past and no name. With no past and no name. The versus Hags Bait uh, from Hags Clan Bait. Tarfoot. <laughs> and so he steps aside, and what you see when he I steps he aside bad is a small goblin. <laughs> 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 it's got like war paint on his face, like the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, oh yes. nice. And he's like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> goblin. All right. I got 14. Natural 20. All right. Goblin's right. got to go first. So the goblin moves up at you, and he um, he makes uh, he makes some some quick jabs, um, throwing punches, uh, rabbit punches like uh, Shane McMahon. His uh, kneecap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are like fist and groin level. Um, so the first attack uh, is a twenty-two. Yeah. And the second attack is at disadvantage, um, which is. Not gonna hit. That's an eight. This guy's gonna hurt. But me. the first swing is five damage. Oh, that, that hurt. Okay. All right. My turn. All right. right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Group, I'm gonna see if I can hit him. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's a twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. All right. Um, he needs to make a strength check. Oh, you're grappling him? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tiny goblin in oh. oh, I get. I'm not raging. Uh, how close is it? You do have a D6. That's true. Six. Actually, I do have a D... No, I don't get a D4 on this. But... Eh. Okay. What'd you get? Nine. Um, well, he got a seven, so you grab. Oh! Hey! 
All right. <laughs> I just pick him up. I throw him. Okay. <laughs> so make your attack, uh, your throw attack, and then um, roll your damage. Okay. So I, I'm trying to throw him off the, okay. into the water. Sure. Like, this is better for you. <laughs> Puny goblin creature. It's a uh, 13, that okay. was my strength check. So you throw him against the railing. Okay. And he takes eight damage. You throw him against the railing, he takes his, his eight damage, and then he, you see him grab a hold as he's, uh, uh, yeah, he's six one nine back to you. So he does a little turn and then just charges you. Whoa, I did not see that coming. <laughs> and the first attack is a natural 20, awesome. because of course it is. So as he's charging you, Whoa. he just puts his head down. And it goes straight where you think it's going to go. Oh, <laughs> and that is uh, 10 oh. damage oh, he's to oh. the junk. And then he oh. takes another swing. Oh. And um, oh. go ahead and make uh, an athletics or acrobatics check. All right, I'll do athletics. Uh, it's a 26. OK, so he goes. Uh, his legs whip around as he's got his head still nestled in your, in your private parts. And he attempts to trip you, but it doesn't, doesn't work. You, you <laughs> manage to catch his legs. Um, so what do you want to do? I'm going to rage now. <laughs> I would like to rage. And then I'm going to punch him a couple times. Okay, so go for it. Okay, so for the Are you first doing hit, this reckless or no? No. Okay. Uh, so that's 50, 24 to hit him with the first hit. Okay, you hit him with the first hit. All right, and that is a 22, 31 <laughs> for the second. Can you roll between, below a 20 at this point? Like, uh, you're level well, four. The, it's a plus nine. <laughs> okay. And I get a D4. Uh, okay. On Jeez. every melee attack. Is that what the grapple still? The grapple no, this is. Oh, uh, you, you haven't switched over. I haven't switched. Okay. I don't think I'm going to. Just because. Okay. Right. It, it just it takes too long to build up the grappler. Yeah. Um, all right. So the first punch is. Uh, 12 damage. Okay. So you punch him and he immediately. Starts going slack, but he's still got a little bite. Right. So the second hit uh, is seven more. So when you so you punch him once, <laughs> and it just knocks him back, <laughs> and then you just punch him down, and his head just. I'm just, I'm just picturing the, just punching the, straight down yeah, from. His head just slams into the wooden floor, and he is knocked out. I pick him up and I throw him in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mean Sting goes over and gets him out of the water. It's yeah. like, we well, I, throw, try to keep I our, throw him towards the boat. We try to keep our contestants alive. Gets a net, Thank you, stranger from nowhere. Is, is he breathing? He checks him. I think so. <laughs> 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 so you guys get rowed back. Um, is there anything you guys want to do? Yeah. Uh, heal, so sir. Tell me about the, the <laughs> Minotaur dude. Yeah. Can I try and find the Minotaur guy? Sure. Uh, and how long does this tournament like last? This is multiple days. Multiple days? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so I can heal up between each fight? Yeah, so you, okay. there are several rounds in between the times that you're fighting. You're basically fighting your way up. So um, there is multiple okay. days worth of, or multiple nights worth And do they have like the brackets posted? Oh, yeah. yeah. So who's the, mel who's the uh, Minotaurs? Who's Gary's next fight? Uh, <laughs> Uh, his next fight is, uh, a, you know, I didn't have that listed up, but let me just check real quick. Yeah, sure. Uh, my list of names. Um, Argamus. Argamus? Yeah. And is it coming up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and find the, the Minotaur. Okay. You, you, you find him without trouble. I'd be like, oh, sir, I, I must tell you. I am a, uh, uh, some would call me a, a, a coach, a trainer, a inspiration, a, uh, uh, and I'm going to do my spiel about how I can take him places, kid, and anywhere, but what I'm really doing is I'm casting words of terror, okay. and the target <laughs> of his terror is the next opponent he's yeah, about okay. to face. Mm -hmm. So he can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw? A wisdom saving throw. Oh, so he doesn't DC know this 15. is happening. No, if, he even no if he succeeds, clue. he doesn't know that I tried to do it. I love that spell. Right. <laughs> it's a great spell. You said Pretty wisdom? Cool. Yeah. That'd be a 22. Oh, yeah, he's fine. 
Yeah. So I go in there and I'm, blah, 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 I'm lacing magic words in the middle and I'm like, it's not picking up. Will you have a great day? I will try and find you again, my friend, because you and me, we are going places. Okay. Um, all right. So oh, no, I'm not to the same places. Cause I'm definitely going to be, now that I know who he is, the Minotaur, I'm definitely going to be watching his fights just to okay. keep so, an eye on him. So during his fight, um, it, it's a little bit more competitive, much like Cirque's was a little bit more competitive. The first first round is kind of weeding out the the uh, tomato cans. Um, the cobblers. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go pay, buy the cobbler a drink this night. Okay. Now that he's probably awake. Right. Yeah, he he would. Yeah, he'd be <laughs> awake, and he'd appreciate that. Um, sorry. This I'm takes him sorry. a couple of swings, um, but much like Cirque, he pitches him right into the drink afterwards. Um, <laughs> he actually caber tosses him into the drink. Oh, nice. Um, I was Scottish just, Minotaur. I was hoping to f- <laughs> just throw the goblet out completely. But so you ready for your last fight? Yeah. All right. Me versus a Minotaur. No, that's no, no? that the last fight of tonight. The last oh, fight of tonight. Okay. Yeah. Not not the last fight. Uh, okay. So. Um, oh, by you, the way, on your way out, I'd be like, hey, buddy, you got this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> did you did you take a short rest? Do you full hit plus? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you get rode back out, and um, the tiefling, mean, mean stink, um, says, <laughs> The mysterious stranger from Parks Unknown versus Farva of the Red Cloaks. And you, having been here before, you know that the Red Cloaks are the constables uh, mm. that the Pirate Lords put into. Um, power to patrol the streets just to keep order. So you have to fight Farva. Farva? Yeah. Did you ask for a liter of beer? Yeah. (laughs) He's been drinking a liter of beer. Um, Wait, those boys get that Go ahead and swap that one out with this one. Yeah. Farva is a tremendously fat uh, person, which I don't have a tremendously fat fighter. We have a fighter. We have, we yeah. have Corbin, but, um, so he's tremendously fat, um, and his gut is just slopping over his belt. Um, how, how, where do we start? In the corners? You start in the corners. Okay. Yeah. Does he move Ooh. slow? <laughs> he, no, he does not move slow. He moves lightning quick. Um, and let's roll initiative. Right. Natural one. Oh, I was nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, one. Well, so yeah, we can just close, I guess. So yeah, he he. Um, what you see him do is he takes a minute to center himself before the fight starts, and um, and then you guys close in on each other. So he's a monk. Okay. Um, yeah, I rage to start. Okay. And then I'm gonna just try to beat him up. Okay. Because uh, roll with disadvantage for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So nine. Four. So the four, obviously. Mm-hmm. It's only a 14 to hit him. Okay. So you miss. On the, you, on the first one. You swing wide, and he ducks down. So natural 20. Okay. Or? Or. Four again. <laughs> <laughs> so 13. So 17 on the second. You hit him. You catch okay. him. Uh, 11 damage. Okay, and what's this type of swing? What are you doing here? So I come back, or so I go to punch him the first time and I miss, uh-huh. and then I just jab him in the face with my elbow. <laughs> like, and he oh, stumbles hey. back. <laughs> um, You're not supposed to dodge and that. And then he comes back at you, and he just starts swinging uh, fast and furious. Uh, yeah, why so the disadvantage? He took patient defense. This is oh. before the fight started. Um, so, ooh, two Monks. fours. That's not gonna hit. <laughs> and then he, but he swings around with the back, uh, a, a spinning kick and catches you in the back of the head. Oh. Um, and you need to make a constitution saving throw. I can't remember if I get advantage on this or not, but that's a 19. You make the, the save, uh, but you do take um, eight damage. Okay. Um, so um, you get the sense that he rung your bell, and if you hadn't made that save, you'd have been stunned. Oh. Yeah, mm. so now it's your turn. Stunning <laughs> fist. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to double swing at him again. Do I still have disadvantage? 
Uh, no. Okay, that was he just the to, first round? Yeah. Okay. He has to activate it. Natural 20. Natural nice. 20. Okay. All right, you're a half orc. Yep, Don't so 3d4. Four. Eight. Eight. Four. Eleven. Uh, 20 damage. Wow, okay. That's on the D4, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he just reels from that attack. Um, there's only a six. Does a 15 hit him? Uh, 15 does not. Okay. So you uh, just uppercut, just straight wow, in the face, okay. and it knocks him so far up that he as he tries to swing for the second one, he actually goes under him because he's still in the air. I okay. remember teaching Japanese, but when he did, he was like, "Shut up!" So. <laughs> Okay, so he does two two attacks hit of his three swinging hits. And the first one is four damage. And the second one is eight damage. And you need to make uh, a dex saving throw. Oh, he gets all kinds of stuff. Eleven. Yes. So you get knocked prone. Oh. Uh, have, you, uh, have you used your d6? I have not. Doesn't matter. No. Um, and he, I rolled again to see if he'd crit, but he didn't crit. Um, so um, that's his his turn. It's now yours. You're okay. fine. I stand up. Get up. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 half my movement of I don't need to move because he's not running stand away. Up, stand and right. hit. Uh, so that's stand and deliver. Yeah, but I'm, I'll use this trick. So 20 to hit. 20 hits. Okay. You see that he he blocks this a little bit, so he's going to reduce the damage. But okay. go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, so that is 13 damage. Ooh. Okay. Um, and then the second hit is uh, 14. 14 to hit? Or yeah. Four, uh, that, that does not hit. <laughs> I rolled a two. Okay. All right. So he... he um, this this first attack, he's gonna go for your legs again, um, and that that is gonna hit. I almost so. do as much damage as a cue hall. Is that a great attack? <laughs> <laughs> um, that is uh, ten damage. Okay. And you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Wow, he's just gonna keep proning me. That's an eleven again. Okay, so you're knocked prone. So the next two attacks are with advantage. Ah, oh, see now he's thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first attack is gonna hit. The second attack is going to miss, so he um, does five more damage to you. Okay. How's he looking? He's hurt. Yeah? He's hurt. What are you doing? I'm just going to punch him a couple of times. Uh, is, there's nothing in the ring to use as a weapon? There's nothing in the ring that really can be used as a weapon. And the uh, whole thing is supposed to be, we're supposed torches. to be punching Yeah, each other. I mean, you, okay. you've seen people in the past use the ring as a weapon. Yeah. So if you wanted to, like, shove him into something, you could certainly do that. Mm. Yeah, this is all flavor at this point. Yeah, we're all, I mean, it just, I don't know. Oh, yeah, if we're, if we're running all over the place, yeah, yeah. I'll smash his face into the okay. railing or something. Okay. So what's the damage on the railing? I'll... You can upgrade it to a D6. Okay. Yeah. So hit him. Uh, that's going to hit. And then, so that's... Uh, 15 damage. Okay, he is... He's not unconscious, but he is hurt bad. And 22 for the second hit. Okay. So it's going to just be smashing He's his... Smashing <laughs> him over and over again. Uh, that's another 15 damage. Okay, so what do you do? What's your finishing move here? Uh, so he he goes out on the second smack. Yeah, yeah. And you can you can throw him down with a finishing move. But what what describe this finishing move? Ooh, what do what would Cirque do? Um, F5. And F5. So you lift him up on your shoulders. Yeah, shipwrecked. And then spin him, <laughs> spin him off the shoulders onto the yeah. onto the hard ground, and everybody goes wild. Visago gets so hyped. They sit there. He's like, yes, yes, yeah, you get it. Then remember, she's or, supposed to be an accent. Goes, yes, yeah, you, you or, get him. Or jackknife. Or just like hold him up for <laughs> like last she's been doing, and just do the yeah. okay. Make everybody cheer, yeah. and then just 
Oh. You do that, everybody goes wild, and that's where we'll end for tonight. Thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> Thanks to Sirenscape, Woo. Axe and Shield. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for the meager amount that we used. I promise next week we'll have a little, a little bit better. Um, and thanks to again to Rudy and Satine for all of your help and assistance. We'll see you next week. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.